Howdy! In this final part for use in Maclaurin series, we're going to compute limits utilizing our known Maclaurin series. Now, one thing they're going to emphasize is you are not allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. Okay? Um, this will probably be a workout problem on an exam, would be my guess. And so, if you do L'Hopital's rule to it, they're going to give you zero credit. So, they want to see can you compute this limit utilizing your known Maclaurin series? So, in this limit, what I'm going to do first is I take a look in my function that I have is sine x. And what you're going to do first is you're going to replace your function with its expansion. And this is where memorizing the expansion might be helpful. That way you don't have to write out the series, expand it yourself, and then put it in. You can just straight up take this expansion and replace it into there. And so what we're going to do is this is going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of, now I'm going to replace sine with its expansion, and usually four to five terms is what I like. And so, plugging this in, this will be x minus, and just as a heads up, there are three terms here, so go four. If there are five terms, go six. If there are two terms, go three. That's just a heads up. But anyways, and here I have x minus x cubed over three factorial plus x to the fifth over five factorial minus x to the seventh over seven factorial and so forth minus x plus one six x cubed all over x to the fifth okay let's see at this point several things should cancel notice an x and a minus x that'll end up canceling check this x cubed over three factorial three factorial six so a negative x cubed over 6, positive x cubed over 6, these are going to cancel as well. And so what I'll be left with is the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial and so forth all over x to the 5th. And notice that out of here you can factor an x to the 5th out of everything. Factoring x to the fifth out of everything, I'll have the limit as x approaches zero. When I factor out that x to the fifth, I'll have one over five factorial minus x squared over seven factorial and so forth, all over x to the fifth. And now these x to the fifths cancel. So when those x to the uh, once those x to the fifths cancel, you'll have the limit as x approaches zero of one over 5 factorial minus x squared over 7 factorial and so forth. But all of these so forths, all of these have x's on it. Here the x order 7, that's got zeros on it. Everything's got zeros on it except the 1 over 5 factorial. This will be 1 over 5 factorial, which 5 factorial, if I do my math correctly, is 120? Sure. 120. And so that's how you're going to do limits utilizing your no McLaurin series.